Hello, my lovely people. My name is Marina and I'm a holiday addict. And I'm wearing really warm hat, very warm scarf, very warm jacket because I'm in Russia. I'm in Penza. This is my second sleeper train. Look at this, very white sheets, pillows. I'm going to visit my auntie and my cousins in Pienza. And this train is slightly better than was from St. Petersburg and it's slightly more expensive, but again, it's a sleeper train. Ticket cost me about 35 pounds. It's one-way ticket, but it's quite long. It's a sleeper train. It's about 11 hours journey. But you also get, when you're in the train, box like this. There is a QR code here. If you scan it, you can order anything you want, food, drinks, anything from a buffet rest uh, in a restaurant. But there is a little bit here. So you get like a little puree dessert. It's banana and apple. You get tiny bottles of water. You get little cake and of course you get like a sugar and a knife and fork if you order any food. I'm not going to order anything, I'm going to just lay down and sleep. But if you want to, you can. And also you get a set like this. In this set you get slippers that you can go to the toilet. Like a single use slippers. You also get shoe shine. What else? You get toothpaste and toothbrush, a shoe horn, I don't know why you have a shoe horn, hairbrush, then you get soap, little soap. Actually, I always keep these little soaps. They're very handy to take with you anywhere because if you need to wash something like socks or knickers, and they're not liquid. And you've got like a sponge, but I don't actually know what it is. Whatever, like a little sponge. I don't know what's this for. So there you are. You get the little goodies. I'm quite pleased. And what I'm hoping for, that I'm going to be on my own again. Because when I went from St. Peter to Moscow, I was all on my own. Bienze, it's a town. It's quite a large town. Where my relatives live, my auntie, a uh, few of my cousins, their kids, and I ca came to visit them. And behind me is a local theater. Bienze is a vibrant city located in the heart of Russia, approximately 625 kilometers or 388 miles from Moscow. With a rich history, stunning architecture, and a warm and welcoming community, also, the crime rate in Penza is slightly lower than the average in Russia. It's a nice place to live, or visit for that matter. Penza is a large city, capital of Penza Oblast, county to you and me. City itself very industrial, with a very good agricultural surrounding in the countryside. It's also hometown of Mikhail Lermontov, who will be no stranger to anyone that knows about Russian literature. Lermontov was a 19th century Russian romantic writer, poet and painter. So this is the central pedestrian street. Of course, in the summer, it has some bustle here. It's a cafe, it's still one after another after another, coffee shops and shops, old pre-revolution buildings, but now there's not many people here, because it's Monday, winter, and it's freezing, freezing cold. It's a lot colder here than in most, a lot colder here. And there is a church right in front of us. Very pretty buildings here. Really, really well looked after. I don't know if they redecorated them all when there was football championship. Maybe because they, there was a lot of foreign tourists here. So they might have been passing up for that. But it all looks freshly painted.
This is a fountain. It's covered up now because it's obviously it's a winter now. But in the summer, it's the colored musical fountain. As you can see, Tens is quite a big, big town. And this is still State Soviet Union mosaics. There was a time when they took them off. I used to take them down in the 90s and the 2000s, but now they're back in fashion and now they protect them and renovate them and decorate them because they are part of the history, are they? And they look really good. This one is a cuckoo clock. Unfortunately, just a second ago, it was out right on the top there, you see? Just here. But it was too late. By the time we run, it's finished. We pop into the shopping centre because it's quite cold outside. And look, that's the nice the United Colour of Venice. See double deck bus? It's a basket wheel bus. You know Baskerville, it's from the Sherlock Holmes, Baskerville's dog. It's closed now, obviously, because it's a Monday morning. You can't miss magnificent Spassky Cathedral. It was built in 1790 until 1824, but it was destroyed in 1934, and stories about demolition survived in the memories of Penza citizens. There were a lot of militia, so the people were silent. Most were crying. All the workers refused to do the work, so the officials started to look for volunteers and finally found a local alcoholic who did it for around 9 liters of vodka. From 2010 until 2022, it was being reconstructed and now standing in full glory. If you decide to visit the city, you won't be disappointed. Apart from its museums, Penza has a three theaters, one of which a drama theater opened since 1793 and the oldest in Russia, two philharmonics, 10 cultural centers, 66 libraries, circus, planetarium, zoo, and 14 movie theaters. So being bored is not something you should need to worry about when you are here.